that you're going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High God gave you, and that and, and that you have to repent. Meaning that all the sins that you have committed in the past, leave them in the past. Ask God for forgiveness for them. You go to Him, you pray to the East. You uncover your head. This is the way that we pray and repent to the Most High God. This is how we can redeem, be redeemed by His Son whenever He come back. This is this, this the way it's going to be, brother. Uh, we can't be out here thinking that we Muslim or Christian. We can't be worshiping the beast or his image. Right. For that is a sin in itself. It's a lie. La'a. Right. Yeah. The book right. of Psalms, chapter 75 and verse 8. Bring it out. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same, but the dregs thereof, and all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. All the wicked of the earth is getting that cup of wrath. And the Most High said he, it was a mixture, but he said if you don't go with him, man, he don't send it to you without a mixture. He's just getting straight wrath, man. You're getting terrible destruction. You ain't gonna get no love out of that, worshiping the beast thing, right. or walking around a rock talking about some old Allah. Right, right. That's a lie. That's right. Allah is la'ah. Right. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. What did the Bible say? Repent ye therefore. What did the Lord say? Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. You know what converted mean, brother? It means to be changed. Right. It means to be switched. Right. That your sins will be blotted out. You know what that means, brother? Blotted out? It means that they will be erased. Right. That everything that is written down that you have done wrong will be erased. That's it will right. be whited out, blotted out. It won't be there no more. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's right. When the time of refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. Because that's the only way that you can be refreshed. Is that's if right. the Most High come to you and blot out them sins because you repented. That's right. But you must be the one to initiate the repentance. Right. You have to go to the Most High God and let Him know that you know that you were in folly. That yep. you know that you have committed sin. That you know that you now know that you had done wrong before. And that you don't want to be that old man no more. And you ain't trying to turn into a thing of salt like Lot's wife. You ain't trying to look back at that old man and do right. what that old man used to do. You ain't trying to be back here. You want to be on the right track on the right train. You don't want to be on the right track on the wrong train. That's going to lead you to somewhere you don't want to be, brother. That's and right. then you're going to be lead, leading after this dude. That's right. You're going to be following after the beast and his image. Right. And guess where that's going? To that lake of fire. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. God. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22. Bring it out. That he put off concerning the former conversation. Get rid of that old man. Right. The right. old right. man. Right. Which is corrupt. According to the deceitful lust, right. and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, right. and that ye put on the new man. The what? The, the new man. man. The what? The, the new, new man. man, which after Yahweh right. Shem Yahushai is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. That's right. You got to get rid of that old lying spirit. You gotta get rid of that old wickedness. You gotta get rid of that, oh, I wanna smoke. I need a blunt. I need a cigarette. Oh, look, she got a big old booty. You gotta get rid of all of that unrighteousness. Right. And you must put on the spirit of the most high guy, which is new righteousness. Right. You gotta take off that old garment, because it's dirty. And you gotta put on that new remnant, that new garment, because it's clean. This is how you repent. Right. This is how you're forgiven. This is how you can get the kingdom. That's right, I this is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 5. Bring it out. I acknowledge my sins unto right. thee. What did the Lord say? I acknowledge my sins unto thee. What did the Bible say? I acknowledge my sins unto thee. And my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forgivest thou iniquity of my sin. My That's right. The Most High God will forgive that sin but you must acknowledge that sin. Right, right. You must show that you know that you have done wrong right. and also show him you don't want to do wrong right. no more. Right. That you putting that off. I Bring found out. out I'm not an African-American no more and then I'm an Israelite. Bring it out. That I found out that 
Oh, what I was doing before is wrong, and I don't want to do that no more. That's right. I have found out not to do this wickedness anymore. I have learned how to repent. I have learned things that the Sunday church ain't taught me. Right. And now I want to turn from this way to that way right. and follow that way all the way. That's right. That's, That's right. right, brother. That's it. That's right. The book of Sirach, right. chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. It is what? It, it is, is much better, better to reprove than to be angry, angry secretly. secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. That's right. Look, it's better to reprove. It's better for you to go up to somebody and let them know, look, brother, this ain't right. You ain't doing it right. You ain't Teach supposed to do it like that. Then the dude be like, oh, man, that was a full change, man. Oh, damn, man. Openly, let him know. Right. This is how you show you a man. Right. You let him know, brother, look, this is wrong. Don't do it like that. That's not how you're supposed to be. You think that these Edomites going to show you something like that? La -ha. You know what they're going to tell you? You should just love Christ and just keep on moving, buddy, and you're fine. Boom! They'll let you keep going around this rock till you get dizzy and crack your head off of it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 1. Bring it out. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven. Blessed is who? Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven. That's right, brother. Whoso sin is, whoso sin it is covered. Whose sin is covered. Your yeah, sin is covered. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven. The way your transgressions are forgiven is if you repent. That's right. Blessed are you if you repent. Right. You won't be feeling all that anguish. You won't be feeling all the heartache and the pain of the world. Right. It will be different. It will be mediocre as opposed to very heavy. Right. It will be completely different if your sins are changed. That's right. If your transgressions are taken off of you because you knew they were transgressions and you turned around and you repented. Uh, and you ask for the forgiveness of your mistakes. The Most High God is a forgiving God, but you have to initiate it too. Right, you right. can't just be out here like, well, you know what? I have faith, and one day it's going to change me. Boom! Right. The book of Sirach, chapter 20 and verse 3. Bring it out! How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shalt thou escape willful sin. Right. How good is it when you are reproved? Which is what we're doing up here now, brother. We're rebuking you, letting you know that, look, what, what you used to do in that Islam and all that ain't the way. So you'll feel way better if you learn your law, statutes, and commandments, repent, and come back to the Most High God, Almighty Yahweh. He does have a name. His name is not G-O-D. It's not a capital G, a capital O, and a capital D. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. It is not Jesus. There is no J in Paleo Hebrew. They have lied to us in every kind of religion right. that they have made up. There ain't no religion. You ain't find the religion in this book and, and God telling you to follow it. Right. Right. He said, follow me. Right. He said, my sheep hear my voice. They come to me and they follow me. Right. He ain't say nothing about, hey, guess what? They hear religion, they cool with it, they sit down in the pew. And they hear this pastor pork chop lie to them all day. They put their money in a pot. We good. There ain't nothing in there like that. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. Bring it out. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. For if we what? For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. That means that if you sin, after you know that you have sinned, and you know what the sin is now, there ain't no more repentance for you. Right. It's over. Right. You can't sin willfully after knowing that it's a sin. Right. All right? Not at all. You can't sin willfully after that. Can, can, you, you know what some of the sins are, brother? You eat pork? You eat pork? Can I get Leviticus 11 and 7? Can I get Numbers uh, 15, 38? We're going to tell you what some of the sins are. This way, you'll stop doing it. The book of Leviticus chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. How long? Throughout, throughout their generation. generation. For some time. Throughout their generation. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. That's right, brother. You see these things here? See all the brothers over here got their fringes on? 
that remember the blue, is to remember the commandments, and not only remember, but to keep the commandments. This is to help you, so whenever you do repent, you don't go back into that world again, because we just read that if you willfully sin, there ain't no more repentance for you. So this is this right here is one of the commandments that the Most High God said to keep as long as you're generating. Aren't we still making children? Are we still alive and we still making children today? Everybody that you know having babies. People that you don't know is having babies, so that means we're still generating. That's right. Right. So this is a commandment that you must keep. That's right. Let, let, let's get another let's get another sin out here. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. And the swine. You know what swine is? Swine. It's yeah. a pig. It's a pig. Right. And the swine. Though he divideth the hoof and be cover footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. No, nah, we can eat pork. He is unclean to you. As long as I pray over it, I can have it. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So you ain't supposed to eat the pork. And their carcasses shall ye not touch. You ain't even supposed to touch his body. At all. You ain't supposed to have no kind of pig whatsoever. So if you're a farmer and you have pork and pigs on your on your uh, on your farm, that means you get one of your slaves to take care of that thing. Right. Not you. Right. You don't touch it. Right. You don't eat it. That's right. You can feed that to them like they used to do us. Uh huh. But you don't touch it, eat it. Right. At all. Mm -hmm. Can I get the book of uh, Leviticus 19:27? <laughs> and then uh, let me get uh. What do I want? 19. No, no, give me 11 and. and give me 11 and 5. Okay. Uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 5. Bring it out! And the coney, because he cheweth the cud. The coney? It's, it's a little furry animal. When you in the, when we was in the wilderness, we had different things to eat. We weren't allowed to just eat. Oh, well, look, there's a chicken. Look, there's a cow. Look, I got a deer. When we were in the wilderness for those 40 years, there was different animals to eat. This little coney thing looked like a little, like a little rat. Yeah, uh, and the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof. You see that? It's uh, the opposite. He cheweth the cud, but he don't divide the hoof. Right. He is unclean unto you. Right, so you can't eat that thing. There are certain things that we can eat and that we can't eat. Right. Even things that you wouldn't know about. Locusts, beetles, deer. Certain animals we allowed to eat. Things like the coney, like the like the uh, pig. Clean, unclean to you. It's a dirty animal. Uh, uh, the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 21. Yet these may ye eat of every flying creeping thing that goeth upon all four which have legs above their feet to leap with all upon the earth. Listen to this. Stuff even, that you ain't ever heard of. Even these of them ye may eat. The locust. The what? The, the locust. We can eat what? The, the locust after his kind and the, the bald locust. locust after his kind and the beetle no. after his kind and the grasshopper after his kind. Did you know we can eat that stuff, brother? No, you didn't. Would that even been something that you considered? No, not at all. But it's in the book. That's right. And you don't know what you're going to have to eat whenever this thing break loose. Right. You don't have a clue, but you know what you can and can't eat That's if right. you go back into these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Teach you don't know what you're allowed to eat and what you cannot eat. Wake them up. Come on, man. Yeah. You is not a Muslim at all. Not at all. Not at all. You are not Muslim. You are a child of God. That's right. right. You are a chosen person of God. That's right. You are not of the evil, of the wicked, of this world. Not at all. What you got? What you got, brother? It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Bring it out. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. You should what? Ye shall not round the corners of your head. So if you ever have taken a razor and sh sh to your head, what's the Bible say? Neither shall thou mow the corners of thy beard. That means you don't cut this off either, brother. How do you check? How, how can you tell the difference between a female lion and a male lion? Because one of them got a mane, That's right? right? So you don't mow the corners of that beard, brother. You don't bald your head. If you go and bald already, so be it. You still clean as long as you ain't making it bald. Right. If God made it bald, that's totally different bald right. 
if the Most High has made it bald, because he wanted to. If you doing it, you ain't obeying your God. Right. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You know what that means? It means like you shouldn't get any. Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. It means you ain't supposed to get no tattoos. Right. You ain't supposed to get no marks on you. You know how people be like, oh, my mom died. <laughs> oh, I got to put this. I got to put this on me because, you know, my homeboy just got shot 15 times and he ain't make it. So I'm going to write this on my book. No tattoos. Did you know that that was in the Bible? Did it tell you not to even get a tattoo? Everybody and their mama got tattoos. So if you follow well, in the world. It was. A man is in the Bible. Right. But people don't even know that. Right. We're bringing it out here, brother. We're trying to wake you up. Right. right. The book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 30. Bring, Bring it out. out. At the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at. You see that? Meaning that you didn't know. So God was like, all right, I see you showing me uh, right now. That's right. That's all right. You my baby. I'm going to make sure that you will learn this. Right. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. That's right. Now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Because now that you know, brother, you have to repent. Right. For everything that you've done, you have to repent. Everything you can remember that you've done, it, no matter if it's today or two years from now, ten years from now, you repent. Oh, that was it on that? Yes, you, you get rid of that sin. You don't keep that on you. Okay. You have that blotted out so that it's not in the book of life. So that you can be in the book of life, but not your sins. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 31. Bring it out. Cast away from you all your transgressions. Do what? Cast away from you all your transgressions. Say it one more time. Cast away from you all your transgressions. What's the Bible say? Cast away all, all your transgressions. Whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit for will for why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, says the Lord God. Wherefore turn yourselves and live. Right, the most high God said he don't have no pleasure in killing these people. Right, right, right. He don't mind killing off the beast. His image. He don't mind killing off them fake Jews. Right. He don't mind killing off the so-called Elamites. Right. He don't mind killing off 17 nations out of 18 nations. Right. But he does mind killing these off. He said he don't have. He ain't got no quarry with us. Right. But when we start acting like everybody else and we start praising that thing, that's when he got a problem with it. Right. But he don't want to kill us off just on his own recognizance. He kills you off because he has to kill you off because you start acting like the heathen nation. Teachers. If you start acting like the heathen nation, it's time for you to go. That's right. If, if you got kids over your house, right, say your kid having a birthday party, and you got a whole bunch of kids over at your house, and some little kid over there, he your, he your child's friend, and he just start breaking stuff in your house, you going to let him stay in your house? You get rid of that little thing, ain't you? And that's how Christ feel about us. That is exactly how God feel about us. If you gonna be in here and you gonna follow my rules, you cool. But as soon as you start acting like little Jimmy over here, you getting the hell out too. That's right. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 13. Bring it out. For the Most High made not death, neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. You hear that? For he created all things that they might have their being. And the generations of the world were healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. For righteousness is immortal, but ungodly men with their works and words called it to them. For when they thought to have it, their friend they consumed to not, and made a covenant with it, because they are worthy to take part with it. Right. See, the Most High said that whenever you keep his commandments and you stay within the world, within the world, or or you're not keeping his commandments and you stay within the world, then he's going to stump you out. If you've got a dirty, nasty bug in your house, you ain't letting that thing stay up in your house. But right. if you are keeping the commandments, he's going to bring you right on in. You're going to have a clean dog in your house, one that listens. You take him off the chain. But that bad dog, you're going to leave him in the basement until he learns right. something, right? That's Ain't, or you're going to put him to death. Right. Ain't that what people do with their animals? Because, yeah. I mean, this is how God sees 
every other nation. He said that they are like animals. Right. That they are nothing. That they are unto spittle. Right. That they are dirty. Right. Nasty. Un Let's get that. Let me, let me, let me get the Second book of Second Edger 6 and 54. Okay. Okay. What was you going to bring out? Oh, uh, the, the book of... Oh. The book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. Bring it up. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him are what? All, All nations, nations before, before him are nothing. as nothing. I thought we was created equal. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. They are less than nothing. This is how God sees every other nation of people. He said, unless you are on this sign, you counted as no, less than nothing, That's man. Right, man. You're trash. You're garbage. You are worthless. That he made you just for our sake. Right. For us to have servants. So we right. ain't really got to do too much. Uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Bring it out. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we all come from Adam. Right, brother? We all come from Adam. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And God said that he chose the Israelites, and we come from Adam. Right. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Why did the Most High God make the world? Because thou madest the world for our sake. Now, world is, I mean, our is possessive. Right. He said our sakes. He's talking about the 12 tribes the house of, of the Israel. house of Israel. Right? He said he made the world for our sakes. Right. As for the other people. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. As for who? As, as for, for the, the other people. people. Hold on, wait. He, hold up. I thought God loved everybody equally. As, as for, for the, the other people, people, which also come of Adam. They also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Oh, I thought God loved everybody. He said they are what? Thou hast they, said that, that they, they are, are nothing. nothing. Oh, my goodness. He said that they nothing. Oh. That they are worthless. That they are not as good as you are. Haven't you heard the whole time in your life that you ain't worth nothing? You ain't no good. You can't compare up to this. Look, he got this five Fortune 500 business. This man owned this. He better than you. But the Most High God said something different. Right. But be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. A falleth from a vessel. What was I looking for? Uh, Matthew 5, 29. Is that what I want? I think that's Acts 529. Acts 5, right. Right, because everybody tell you that they better than you. And they do better than you. They can be better than you. They show you that they're better than you. They got businesses everywhere. They got money everywhere. They thought it in your face. But what does the most high God say? He said that you are better than them. That's right. He said that they spittle. That they like unto a drop that you spill. You ain't gonna go worry about that drop. You got a whole bucket. All right. Let, let's see what the most high God says. This is the book of Acts, chapter 29, ch chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Nah, man, we got to listen to President Trump. We ought to obey God rather than men. Nah, man, Biden said that he's going to take care of us and give us the vaccine. We ought to obey God rather than men. You see what that is? We ought to obey God rather than men. So God said that you are above these people. So I'm listening to God. I ain't worried about what man say. Right. The God of our fathers. There's that possessive word again. Raise up Jesus whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Everybody has a chance of repentance. To give repentance to Israel. Everybody has a chance to go to God and say, I'm sorry. To give repentance to Israel. So if you not Israel, brother, you ain't even got a chance to repent. Right. right. If you not Israel, brother, you ain't got a chance in hell to live. Right. That they all gonna burn. Why you think whenever we read it earlier, God's coming with a sword. And he right. killing many. That's right. Because he's a man of war. That's right. You believe you Islam still? No. Then my job is done. Kwam Yashara. 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 Kwam
That's right, man. That's right, man. You're an Israelite, man. You're an Israelite, man. You have nothing to do with Israel no more. Kick that rock. Get rid of that rock. God. Now, now you repent because you 